Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to a 34 degree September the 30th. I would have left here a couple of hours or so ago in the frost. It was 32 degrees. This would have been the worst decision ever trying to drive to Texas. Even Sparky agrees. He goes, man, you ain't going nowhere on that motorcycle. <laughs> but anyway, it is the last day of September. It's a Monday. It's the start of a new week. So I got today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday morning, long, way earlier than this. I'll be up in the air heading for Dallas, Texas. That would have been a sketchy ride at best. Well, look, I see sunshine. Sun, mama. There is, I see blue. <laughs> I love that when you see the fog in the trees. Go well, there, little woman. Yes, no man. 52 degrees here. Feels a whole lot warmer. <laughs> Feels home. like summertime here. Yeah, Wait, I step there. off that plane and it's 90 degrees in Dallas. I'm going to freak going. out. <laughs> oh yeah sure will all right all have right. yourself a wonderful monday you too, and uh i'll see you as the day goes on all right love you see you bye i love you man is it nice out oh, here beautiful. heck yeah party party. all right all right off to it absolutely gorgeous day out here today but not working on anything I can uh, I can ride at the moment. <laughs> Still going through the calipers here. I'm gonna pop the piston. They want this is the one that had the one piston. I've looked at the other ones, but uh, if it doesn't look like it's if it doesn't look like it's leaking from the seam, they seem they want us to pull the piston out and look for damage. Well. That's kind of like a damaged fork seal. If you, uh, you can have a fork seal that's absolutely puking and, um, and see no sign of damage. You don't see, I mean, you have to look at it with a microscope or something. But, uh, anyway, I'm gonna look for debris and stuff in here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the one piston that's, uh, that I know is leaking on this side just, just to get a feel of what exactly they want me to do. But the problem is when I pull the piston out, all the brake fluid's just gonna naturally drain out of this thing. And um, yeah, I can't, if I had the new part to put on there, you swap it right quick. You pull the piston out, all the brake fluid's pouring out. Out of that line anyway. And that's gonna introduce air into the ABS pump. It's just gonna be a mess kinda. So let me see what I can find here. Just as I suspected, piston, Super high quality, no burrs, nothing in here. Man, BMW uses some really good stuff. And of course, no matter how hard you look, even with a jeweler's loop, there's no nicks or burrs in the ID of the seals. And there's no no debris or or anything inside the uh, the bore of the caliper. It's just clean as a whistle in there. So, <laughs> yeah, the reason I'm talking about this is I would just put the piston kit in here and it should be good. But BMW says if you don't see a visible damage to the seals, replace the whole caliper. That just seems like overkill to me. But BMW is going to do what BMW does. That's what they want us to do. That's what we're going to do. It just seems awfully expensive. Man, and it comes loaded. I mean, it'll have new pads and everything on it. So oh, that's what the boss man says at the BMW world. That's what we're going to do. But I personally, seeing no bore damage, no piston damage, no seal damage. Like I say, you're not going to see a damaged seal unless something obviously cut this thing. There's no debris or anything in there to cause anything. I mean, this is like fork seals and other piston seals that I've rebuilt that leak. You don't see the damage. That's just, you're not going to see it. So it says, if you don't see it, replace the whole caliper. All righty. Here we go. Two brand new calipers. Because uh, both sides are doing the doing the same thing. Same, same amount of leak. 
They're both leaking from what appears to be just one piston. I'm sure something got nicked. But if you look, look at the edge of this thing. That gets, it goes this side first. I mean, there's no burrs there or anything to cause seal damage. So, I don't know. It seems kind of weird. But I'm going to follow the rules. I'm a rule follower. So, when I was talking to you last, I looked out here and I thought, you know what? Since I stole the, uh, <laughs> looking for the park right. Since I stole, stole the ACS um, level sensor out of this thing and when the new one came in, I put it in, I never wrote it. So let's go and take this thing back up front. Is that telling me that's a distance? That mileage freaks you out sometimes, depends on what mode it is. It's saying I have a 53 mile range. And I'm going, there's no way this thing has 53 miles on it. It just depends on where you have have your stuff set at. Why is that trunk sound like it's not shut? Oh, I'd get a warning if it wasn't. Oh yeah, look at this. I don't know what the temperature is. Bike says it's 63, but it's been sitting in the sun. It could be 63 degrees. <sighs> feels good to sit down on something. It feels good to sit down, period. <laughs> it's not that I've been that busy, but I've been just running around, goofing around with that BMW thing with the those hazed calipers. I think it's just something funky with the seal, but doesn't that seem a little little odd to, but I don't know, there's probably something more to it that they're not telling us. Maybe there's a porosity in the casting of the, who knows. One of those things, you know, the years later, you know, they'll spend a week or two fixing the ones that, that have the leak and that'll be the end of it. and then. Someday at school or something, they'll go, oh, you remember years ago? Then you'll find out what it was. <laughs> I'm sure I could just call and talk to one of the guys and they'd tell me. It's, it's actually kind of hard to get them on the phone. Because they, everything, BRPs and everybody's that way now, you, you deal with it through uh, online. That's just the way of the world. Oh, look at these trees. Oh, no, look, they turned yellow and a lot of the leaves have already blown out. I guess they had one crazy lightning storm down here. Saturday night or Friday night, whenever it was. <laughs> There's this one house that um, apparently everything didn't go to ground. It went through, it like blew up electronics, all kinds of crazy things. Yeah, had a wild event. <laughs> but, yeah, that's... Leaves are getting blown. That's the bad thing is is we... Uh, it can get really pretty and it's just prime for... Man, you just go out with your camera and go for rides and whatever else. Go and see all the beauty. And then a daggum... The two things that'll happen. The, the rain gets the leaves wet. And then, you know, they're weak and ready to fall anyway. So the wind blows the uh, rain-soaked leaves. And, um, you know, in their weakened state, they just fall out. And that's it. They're all on the ground. And then the worms come along and eat them or whatever. God, somebody sent me a link to that thing about freak me out. I'm like, what? Because I was going on about... Where'd all the leaves go? You should see them blown into a pile. The earthworms come along and eat them all. Well, that's what happens to a lot of them. You can do a little, a quick little walk around. How about, why not? I've walked around one of these before, but. Oh. <laughs> Forgetting how to drive doing these things here. <laughs> That's a whole lot of orange. But I see uh, 
see plenty of them roaming around people liking them hey fly get on off of that spider that is pretty I love how it changes changes colors as you walk around it that's always really cool today would be a nice day if it wasn't a brand new bike the ones you like I hear a noise can you just go drive it for a while see if you can tell me what it is oh I guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, a lot of these trees had even started to change mm, that lovely new smell coming off of these things I'm sure you guys been around motorcycles enough you know this but what that smell is is they uh, the bikes you know the manufacturer has no idea who what when a bike's gonna sell you know it may sit in a crate for a year or 10 years you know crazy things happen well they're coated with a preservative to uh, to give them some uh, shelf life so to speak well when you you fire them all up and take them for a ride it uh, slowly but um, in some cases it does burn off well smokes off it never catches on it's made out of something that don't catch on fire you i've seen where they pulled it up sometimes on the exhaust and it just puts on one heck of a smoke show and freaks you out oh no that one's on fire but yeah that's that it's the preservatives they put on there they used to call it cosmoline but i don't know if that kind of thing is even used anymore they use something on it roll this up front to the boys and let them figure out what they want to do with it whoa look at this yeah you can tell we're in fall the parking lot looks light that's never good but it's just that time of year those things happen it is the motorcycle business and because of our weather it's very seasonal I don't know what I've done with the if I turned the deal packet in already on this thing or I held on to it I'm not sure oh, there's your answer and I think I've got the key thing in my pocket yep all right thanks for coming along for a wonderful orange look at that how it changes colors it's so cool it's like a chameleon at first I thought oh my god they painted it all messed up and it the panels are all different colors no it's just one of those paints that change as you walk around all right I'll talk to you guys later two more days till freedom more. till we're heading for Texas <laughs> Check this out. We're in Chehalis at Sunbirds. I'll give me another set of um, Red Wing Romeos. Because mine are like five years old. Yeah. And finally, the insides are gutting out on them. But anyway, look at this evening light. Holy moly. It is beautiful out here. <laughs> All right, Maul. Let's go do it. You guys remember I used to show you the restaurant was in there and Kelly and I always talked about going there but the uh, my Red Wing Romeos are no more they've been discontinued that's probably why I had a really hard time finding them online and for crazy prices and weird sizes so I went with a, another pair of Georgia boots those are really good the Georgia boot Romeos but they have such a drastic break-in period. So I'm going to have to hammer down on these things the next few days. <laughs> Get them broke in. Don't want to be at the event and breaking in a pair of shoes. Alrighty. Woman. You've done kept me out late again. Another night. We still got to do a, a quick Walmart run to boot. <laughs> Look at this. We done shut the place down. Done found ourselves at Walmart. It's 
stay out of Woolworths. <laughs> I will, but they're Yep, they gone. We gotta go get so Kelly and I, we didn't get one tonight. We've already checked out. But would this be something fun to play with the dogs? Man, would that put on the show. Oh, I can't go out that way. <laughs> that would be so cool. We might have to try that. Wrong little woman. Yes, By the time we get home, them dogs will be going. What happened? Exactly. Oh, I always point out the Chehalis Airport when I come off of that one bridge. Yes, yeah, there's the runways. This part right here used to be the airport was larger, and this was one of the runways. Yeah. Where we're sitting right now. You see, like Lear jets, and seems like there's bigger stuff that landed here. Yeah. I think Lear jets still land here, but it seems like there was other stuff. Not no more. Nope. Walmart's took precedence. I know it, and all our little, little stores everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Now we got little places to spend all your hard earns. Yeah. All right, let's roll out, Mama. Let's roll. All right. Tuckered. Yeah, me too. Well, hello there, you two. It's been a while since we've done a in the car yeah it's been a while yeah that's crazy man nine o'clock that gum i know it we gotta get in and put stuff away. yeah got stuff to do oh heck yeah get ready for bed so you can do this again tomorrow start all over again tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> crazy i'm putting the truck inside tonight yeah it's cold. Yeah, it was cold crazy cold Got to go out there and do the auto start thing and let her sit there and warm up a little bit. Yeah. Defrost her a little. Oh, so that'd be chilly. Yeah. <laughs> crazy cold. But uh, anyway, thanks for uh, roaming around the middle of the night with us. And mm -hmm. In the middle of the night. It's not that yeah. late, but it's late for us. I yeah. mean, I'm usually working, working on my video by now, not still yeah. building it oh, or yeah. recording it or whatever you want to call night. it. Yeah. We'll get her done. Used to it. Getting yeah. back to those winter times where you yeah, end up doing it in the dark. You know, you, you just lose track of time. You just yeah. gotta look at a clock. Yeah. In the summer, you know, when sunset, well, you can if you're tell still, where it is. Yeah, if yeah. you're still working on making the vlog at sunset, you can have a long night for sure. Because oh, yeah. the twice you can still record out here until like 11 o'clock almost during the middle of summer. Yeah, Kind of crazy. Nice. But anyway, we're going to bail out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. All right. See you in the morning. It's mm -hmm. clear out there. It's going to be another really cold one. It's going to be cold. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right. We'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Thanks for watching now. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.